Sauce Gang and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats here with another terrifying reaction from In A Nutshell. After the last video uh, about nuclear missiles and how it works, you guys let me know that I need to check out some of the other ones. So today we're checking out what if we nuke a city? Again, this is all stuff that can happen in real life. This is terrifying. It's death and destruction and I hate all of it. But let's peep it out. But before we do, can you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel and fam, we're trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Souls Gang family. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Okay, what you got in a nutshell? Take us to school. Playing around with nuclear weapons in videos God, is fun. This is like how the There's Terminator started. Joy in blowing things up and a horrifying fascination with things like fireballs, shock waves, and radiation. And while it does help put our destructive power in perspective, it's not the best way of understanding the real impact of a nuclear explosion. This isn't about silly stacks of TNT or about how bright an explosion is. Nuclear weapons are about you. So we've partnered with the Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement to explore what would really happen if a nuclear weapon were detonated in a major city today. Not nuclear war, just one explosion. Oh, it's not good. Hopefully we never have to see this or experience this again, chat. Like, there's no bueno. We begin our story in the middle of downtown in a major city. People are going to work, studying for exams, are lost in their thoughts and daily lives. Drinking some coffee, right here, playing some games. Right weapon is detonated and time freezes. The first phase of the explosion happens within less than a second. In a millisecond, a ball of plasma hotter than the sun appears and grows in a fireball than to more than sun. two kilometers across. Within this ball, everyone is just gone. Think of water dripped onto a very hot pan. A sizzle, and then there's nothing. Most buildings, cars, trees, tacky sculptures, and people, all evaporated. Dude. First, the flash, an intense tsunami of light, washes over the city in an instant. It's melting. If you, you melt. happen to have your head pointed in the direction of the explosion, it renders Blinded. you blind for a few hours. The heat of this light produces a thermal pulse, so energetic and hot that it just burns everything as far as 13 kilometers from the detonation site. What this How means is, is that everything kilometers? in an area of 500 square kilometers that is able to burn <laughs> just, starts I'm just, burning. I'm just a stupid American. I, I don't know kilometers and meters and... I mean, I guess I know meters, so kilometers. And I, 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 I'm stopping before I sound really, really dumb. I know, I know, stop, stop it, I'm stopping, I'm done. I'm Plastic, done. wood, fabric, hair, and skin. Is that cockroaches? If you happen to be in reach of the thermal pulse, one moment you're on your way to work, the next moment you're on fire. Now oh. the second phase begins. It happens in a few seconds. Most people will now first notice that something is wrong, but it's already too late for hundreds of thousands. The flash is followed by the shock wave. The heat and radiation of the fireball create a bubble of superheated and super compressed air around it that's Jeez, now expanding dude. explosively. Faster than the speed of sound, creating winds stronger than hurricanes and tornadoes. Wow. Human infrastructure okay. is no match for its power. Most major buildings within a kilometer of the fireball are just ground up down to their base. Oh, Only steel man, reinforced oh. concrete is able to partially resist the pressure. In the surrounding parks where retirees feed the ducks, trees blackened and smoldering from the heat a second before snap like toothpicks. If you're outside, you get tossed away like a grain of dust in a tornado. The shock wave weakens as it travels outwards, but still, about 175 square kilometers of houses collapse like they're made of cards, trapping tens of wow. thousands of people who didn't have any time to react. Gas stations explode and fires spread throughout the rubble. A mushroom Everything cloud made fire. from the remains of the fireball, dust and ash rises kilometers into the sky in the next few minutes and casts a dark shadow over the ruined city. This violently pulls in fresh air surrounding the city, destroying more buildings and providing an abundance of oxygen. It depends on the city what happens next. If there's enough fuel, fires may turn into a firestorm that burns the rubble, everybody trapped in it, and people trying to flee the devastation. 
Up to 21 kilometers from the explosion, people just like you rush to their windows to take pictures of the mushroom cloud, unaware that the shockwave is still coming at them, about to shatter their windows and create a blizzard of sharp glass. <laughs> the third phase begins Run! in the coming hours and days. We're used to the idea that help will come, no matter the disaster. This time is Not different. A nuclear explosion is like every natural disaster at once. There are hundreds of and thousands then some, of And then the rate you can't help because of the radiation. Injuries, lacerations, broken bones, serious burns. In the next few minutes and hours, thousands more will die because of these injuries. Countless people are trapped in collapsed buildings like in earthquakes or blinded by the flash, deaf from the blast wave, and unable to flee through streets impassable with rubble and debris. Dude, this is just so scary, They're terrified, Chad. confused, and don't know what's happened to them or why. Most likely, many hospitals have been leveled along with all the other buildings, and most medical professionals are either and dead or injured of them. along with everyone else. The survivors lucky enough to have been in metro tunnels or standing in the right place to be unburned and unhurt won't have truly escaped harm yet. Depending on the type of weapon, where it explodes and even the weather, an awful black rain can begin, with radioactive ash and dust descending on the city, covering everything and everyone. The oh invisible, God. malicious, silent horror of radiation takes its turn. Every breath carries poison to the lungs of the survivors. Over the coming days, the people who receive the highest doses of radiation exposure yes. will die. There will be no help, not for hours or maybe even days. Civilization doesn't operate when there is a total breakdown of infrastructure. Roads are blocked, train tracks Dude. warped, runways cluttered with rubble. Ch Let's just pray. No water, no electricity, we never have no to communication, this again. no stores to replenish supplies from. Like I'm under the the hopes and dreams just as a world, we get rid of nuclear missiles. Like, there's just no good that comes from this stuff, dude. It's just death and destruction. Help from surrounding cities will have a hard time entering the disaster zone, and even if they can, the radioactive contamination will make it risky to get too close. After a nuclear attack, you're on your own. So, bit by Literally. bit, people You're emerge from the sense. rubble, on foot, contaminated with radioactive fallout, carrying what little they may have left. They are slow, in pain, traumatized, and they all need food, water, and medical treatment fast. ASAP. And the damage done by a nuclear weapon doesn't end when the fires burn out and the smoke clears. The hospitals in the neighboring cities are under-equipped for a disaster of this scale and overwhelmed with tens or hundreds of thousands of patients. They all with carry radiation injuries. to where they in go the too. In weeks, so. months, and years to come, many of those who survived will succumb to cancers like leukemia. The reason no government wants you to think about all this is because there is no serious humanitarian response possible to a nuclear explosion. There's no way to really help the immediate victims of a nuclear attack. This is not a hurricane, wildfire, or earthquake, or nuclear accident. It is all of these things at once, but worse. No nation on Earth is prepared to deal with it. The world has changed in the past few years, with world leaders again explicitly and publicly threatening each other with nuclear weapons. Many experts think the danger of a yeah, nuclear submarines. strike is subs. higher than it has been in decades. Governments tell their citizens that it's good that we have nuclear weapons, but no, it's, it's bad when anyone else gets them. That it's somehow necessary to threaten others with mass destruction to keep us safe. But does this make you feel safe? No. Nope. It only takes a <laughs> Not small even a group little of bit. people with power to go crazy or rogue, a small misstep or a simple misunderstanding to unleash a catastrophe of unimaginable proportions. Exploding stuff in videos is fun. Exploding things in real life not so much. There is a solution, though. Eliminating all nuclear weapons and See? vowing never to build them again. In 2017, almost two-thirds of all the world's countries, supported by hundreds of civil society organizations and the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement, agreed to prohibit and eliminate nuclear weapons. It's not about who has nuclear weapons and who doesn't. The weapons themselves are the problem. Yep. They are deeply immoral and an existential threat to all of us. No matter what country you come from, no matter what political side you find yourself on, we need to demand that they disappear forever. This will not happen without pressure. If you want to be part of this pressure, there are things you personally can do too.
Visit notanukes.org to learn more about nuclear weapons and what you can do about them. Oh, wow. Bro. All right, dude, dude, this is why, like, I love In A Nutshell's channel. Like, you learn stuff that, I mean, unless if you're still in school, like, you know, it's almost impossible to learn, but... I mean, this is just stuff that's terrifying, man. Again, we're talking about like end of days type stuff, extinction level events type stuff. And there's just no win. There, there's no side that wins from a nuclear war. Um, I just pray. I pray that A, none of us ever experience this and B, we somehow manage to get rid of them all. Oh, oh, America, Russia, any country that has them. We need them gone. But anyways, yeah, let me know what uh, are some other in a nutshell videos you guys want to see. I love, even though they give me nightmares, I love checking these out. Make sure you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel. Again, I'm trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button. Join the Sauce Gang family. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, it's easy sleeping. Make beats and as usual, we kind of want to know. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Go, 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 go,